and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Illington Cycle Circuit booking system. The first page that we're presented with is the home page for the booking system and this contains a lot of information about what the circuit offers, how it's used by regular groups and we have a booking link here which allows you to make a, a, a booking. So if we click on this, it takes us into our bookings page. The bookings page is a simple to use calendar. The default view is by day, but if we change that to month, it will show us dates that are available. Notice that there are bookings in the system. Some are circuit higher, some can be classroom higher but we are going to focus today on making a, a circuit booking. So we'll choose a date in the future. So we'll choose a, a date of the 26th of June. Today is the 9th of June. So this would give us some cancellation options because our cancellation policy says that you cannot cancel an event less than seven days before the start. So if we click on this day, it presents us with a calendar view or a timeline view that we can now book from. We have two views, we have a classroom and a circuit. Both are bookable spaces. You'll see that you can only book a four hour slot. Our booking cycle is such that you can book between these times. You can't book the handover period. You can only book the allocated spaces for these times. So let's make an evening booking. We're going to add that to our space and what that's done is open that up but we'll see that at the top of the screen we've now got the book highlighted and it gives us some details on this. We're going to book the 26th of June from 17.30 to 21.30. It's a circuit hire booking and the cost of this booking would be a minimum of £75. So let's go ahead and book. So we need to identify ourselves. So for this, I have a test email account. So I'm going to use my test. And I've not used this account before with the booking system. So when I click next, it'll, it will ask me to fill in some details. So it's a circuit tire. We're going to give this a title. And this is a tutorial test. Let's spell it right. Tutorial test. And we can give it some notes. This is a test for the tutorial. I'm going to give it my name. So here I am. I'm going to use my shortened name. I'm going to use my surname. I'm going to give it my real telephone number. And my organization. And this is just going to be a tutorial organization. But for regular users, we would appreciate it if you would put the organization that is making the booking. And then given a number of uh, terms and conditions, we have the venue terms. I'm going to open that up in a new tab. So the terms and conditions for the booking system are laid out, what the requirements are for booking, how to pay, how to use the circuit, some details about the facility itself, the first aid, capability, car parking, and some general notes. We also have uh, details of where to lay out the warning signs. You'll see in the terms and conditions that it's essential that when you're running an event that warning signs are laid out to the general public. So I've read those terms and conditions. I'm going to close that down now. I can see that there's software terms. So for this booking system, we're actually using a third party software provider and here's details about the, the software if you are interested. Because of data requirements, we 
also have a privacy policy. So this explains how the data is used within the application and how it covers any GDPR requirements and so on. So by clicking the agree button, you've read and agreed these terms and conditions and you can now make your booking. So a little bit further down, I click the terms and conditions and now I confirm the booking. Okay, so that's it, that's my booking made and I can see now that if I hover my mouse over the booking description, I can see that uh, I get some of the detail that I entered. So that's it, that's, uh, that, that's a booking. Uh, if I go to my email account, as I said, and not use this email account before, so I do a refresh on that. The first thing I get is a confirm new account. So let's take a look at that email. It says, thanks for signing up. Please confirm your account. So we go into that to confirm our account. And here I'm asked to enter a new password. Um, for security's sake, uh, I'll make a strong password. So I'm going to suggest one. I'm going to use that. And we'll see that the passwords match. I've read the terms and conditions and I want it to remember me. <coughs> so I now accept that. And it takes me into an external view of the booking system, uh, which I can now, now close. So I've now accepted my terms and conditions. I've now created my user. If I go back to my in inbox, uh, you see that I've already it's already taken my booking. So if I look at the booking, it tells me what the booking is. Remember, we put in a tutorial test, and we said that this is uh, a test for the tutorial, the price of the booking, and it gives me uh, some details and also a link to the terms and conditions that I uh, subscribe to. So that's my booking notification complete. Okay, so I can uh, now move my email account and again we can see that this is in the booking. Now, the booking will feed down into the What's On calendar. So the What's On calendar is there for the public to see what bookings have been made and when the, uh, when the psychic circuit is open for the public to use or to let anybody know what the bookings have been made. So let's take a look at uh, this. Let's go for a four week view and we'll see that the booking that we made, show my email again, the booking that we made on the 26th of June is not yet visible in the calendar. The reason for this is that there's a four week, sorry, four hour uh, lead time for the calendar to flush down to the, uh, to the calendar. So what we'll do is we'll force an update to the booking system. So I'll go elsewhere one moment and what I will do is I'll force a refresh of the calendar. I'm just doing this in another screen. It'll tell me when it's imported it. And if it's a refresh here now, after four hours, you'll see that my, my booking is, is there. And again, if I open this up or just hover my mouse over it, you'll see that it's a tutorial, a tutorial organization. It's a tutorial test, but it's also a circuit higher booking. The time is 5.30 to 9.30 and my description if you remember it's just a test for the tutorial the price of the booking is 75 pounds so that's it I've created a booking I've waited four hours and the data has been fed back down into the calendar. So I'm now a registered account user, but I've only been able to create single events. So what happens if I want to create a series? 
Well, the first step is to create your first event. That will create your account and then contact bookings at illingdoncyclecircuit.org.uk and ask if you can be made uh, given access to the bookings, uh, to the repeat bookings. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into admin mode one moment. another screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the bookings I'm going to sign on and I'm going to give the user that we've just created access to repeat bookings so for the admin this just takes a, a few minutes so I find my account and what I do is I make this a repeat booker. And I go back to the, when I've got notification that I'm now a repeat booker, what I can do is just refresh the screen to make sure that it's taken my authorization change. And now, if I go back to my month view, I'm going to take the next week, so the week after the 26th, which is already taken, so I'll go for the next one, which is the 10th. And now I'm going to create an evening booking. But this time, I'm going to make it repeat. So I'm going to make it a weekly event. I'm going to make it repeat repeat every one week. I can end it after two occurrences or I can end by a specific date. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it three three occurrences but I've got an exception. So I don't want so we say we're going to make the 3rd of July 10th of July 1724th. What I don't want is I don't want to book it on this date. So I've added an exception to my list. I can add something in there. I can say this is a video test and just another test. The system knows who I am uh, because that was entered previously. Uh, I've got two occurrences, £75 each. Um, and I can cancel, I, I have some cancel time if I wish to do so. So I'm going to confirm this booking. So what we'll see now, if we go back to calendar view, I've got the booking that I made there. I skipped the 17th. I made the 24th and I did ask for three occurrences, but it skipped the middle one. Okay. So that's Uh, so it's included my exception. So be careful and remember that you, if you say you want it to repeat for three weeks, but there's one exception, it will only give you the two bookings. So be careful when you, you do that. It also works on the time. If you say you want to book them until the end of the year, then it will not necessarily count the number of occurrences, but it'll say it'll run until such a date uh, and it'll take into account any of your exceptions. Okay, now these are outside the, the cancellation window. So I booked this, but I don't want this anymore. So I can either cancel the occurrence uh, or I can cancel the uh, entire series. So I'm going to cancel this occurrence now. So that's taken that away. Uh, I'm now going to cancel any following occurrences. So yes, that's that's gone. So I've taken that out of the, I can now manage my own bookings. However, if I'm within seven days of the start date, I won't be allowed to do the cancellation. I've got a previous one that I no longer require. So again, I can cancel my booking. That was just a singleton. Now it's gone from the system. And again, within four hours, that will feed back to the calendar and it will make, it will remove.
remove those from the uh, what's on view for the public. So hopefully you find that interesting. Um, it's relatively simple to use. If you do have any problems, please drop us a line at bookings at illingdoncyclecircuit.org.uk. Thank you very much.